five years ago, um, what made you become homeless? Well, uh, I don't drink, but I do crystal meth. So you aged out of foster care? Yeah. What you go to prison for? Uh, uh, distribution of crack cocaine, sell of crack cocaine, solicitation of prostitution. Yeah, I was sexually assaulted by one of my, uh, me and my sister were. Oh, wow. By one of our foster parents. What's up, YouTube? Top Flight USA back with another one. What's up, brother? What's your name? My name Dominique Bryce. Dominique Bryce. Dominique, uh, how old are you? I'm 44. Lord spend my life. I'll be 45 August 3rd. Okay, August 3rd. That's what's up, man. My birthday, uh, August 4th. Yeah. So we Leos. We we right neck and neck with each other. Okay. Uh, where you from, Dominique? I'm from Marion, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you homeless? Yeah. Okay. How long you been homeless? Uh, I, for about five years. But it's, you know what I'm saying? Basically by choice, I'm going through a little depression area because my mom passed away three years ago. Okay. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah. Um, five years ago, um, what made you become homeless? Well, uh, I don't drink, but I do crystal meth and, um, I don't do crack or none of that, you know what I mean? But shit happens. Right, right. Um, when did you start doing crystal meth? Uh, about three years ago. Three years ago. Uh, three years ago, what, what made you do it, though? Like, I mean, well, you, you say you've been homeless for five years. Well, I was, um, when I was, I was staying in Colorado, Denver, Colorado, right? Uh-huh. Um, I was standing in Denver, Colorado, and I was, you know, real, real, prop, real, real popular in Colorado. And um, I had a girlfriend who smoked cocaine real bad, right? And then I had another girlfriend who, uh, she did ice. And we, I ran out of cocaine, so I started fucking with her on the ice, you heard me? And so that kind of, she kind of turned me out, okay. tricked me a little bit. So you saying your girlfriend introduced you to her? Who? You say your girlfriend introduced you to Mel? Well, my girlfriend? Yeah. Uh-uh. Is she, my girlfriend, her name is Panda. Okay. She introduced me to her. Okay. Her and some of her friends. So, um, okay, let me ask you some more questions. Uh, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I got a sister named Latavia Bryce. I got two brothers, Alan Bryce and Kendra Bryce. Okay. Um, uh, let's tap into your childhood a little bit. Uh, how was your childhood growing up? Well, I, don't, I was taken away from my mother. My mama named Cecilia Gale Bryce. God bless the dead. She, um, she, we got took away from her when, when I was about, what, five years old? My sister was six. Um, my brothers, they were young. You know, we was in foster, foster home, so we were like 18. And I chose to go back to my mama's house. But I done been in prison one time before then. So you aged out of foster care? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't no services or, or nothing for you when you aged out of there? Well, no. I went straight to my mama's house and went back in the streets. So you left Colorado? No, I, I, I ain't even went to Colorado yet. I went to Colorado when I got out of prison the second okay. time. So you was in South Carolina in the foster home? Huh? I was in South Carolina in the foster home, yeah. Okay. And when you aged out of the foster home, you say you went to prison? I went to prison, yeah. Uh, what you go to prison for? Uh, uh, distribution of crack cocaine, sale of crack cocaine, solicitation of prostitution. Um, how long did you do? How long did I do? Yeah. Uh, eight years. Uh, my, my second bid, my first bid was youth offender. And I did, it, it, it goes anywhere, it depends on you. You can do 11 months or you can do goddamn, what, uh, up to six years. It's a one to six. You know what I'm saying? You, it depends on you. Right, right. So it sounds like you had like a a rough upbringing, man. You uh. Yeah, the, the tough times don't last long. Tough people do. You feel me? That's right. That's right. Uh, do you have any kids? I don't have no children. No children. Nah. Um. Growing up, uh, not to offend you or anything, but I just want to ask: 
have anything ever happened to you growing up, like sexually? Yeah, I was sexually assaulted by one of my, um, me and my sister was. Oh, wow. By one of our foster parents. So you was assaulted by one of your foster parents? Well, it wasn't my, my sister was assaulted by one of our foster parents, but I was assaulted by one of the, one of the, the sons of the foster parent. Wow. Wow. Man, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, that seems to go on a lot in our uh, community, man. Things like that happen. So uh, did you tell anybody about that? Uh, well, I was kind of scared too, but when I said something about it, you know, it was kind of shunned off. So they pretty much just didn't do anything and they wanted you to keep your mouth closed? Basically. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. That's crazy. Um, all right. I got a, just a couple more questions uh, about your homelessness. Uh, if you could tell the government something about homeless people or uh, your homeless situation, what would you tell them? Um, there's, there's a lot of good people out here, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of good people out here. They look, might look at us as... As, as, as vagabonds, you know what I mean? People who do bad, nothing ass people, whatever they want to call them. You know what I'm saying? But they're good people like us. Some of them good people, man. You feel me? Right. Regardless of what they, what they do, how they go through it, some of them good people. You ain't got to like them, you ain't got to love them, you ain't got to fuck them. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they're good people out here, bro. That's right. Um, if you can go back to your 10 year old self, with well, all the knowledge that you know, all the information that you know right now, what yes, would you tell yourself? Make it better than the last time. That's all I can say, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Make it better than the last time. You know what I mean? They got, I learned I learned from being in prison by the OG nigga, he told me, he said, there are three types of people in this world. You know what I'm saying? The one that was with you when you were balling, the one that, that was with you when you were falling, and the one that, that was with you, Excuse me. The ones that were with you when you were balling, the ones that the, the ones that left you when you fallen, and the ones that didn't answer when you was calling. You know what I'm saying? There were three types of people in this world. So I, I just try to get down, keep myself above the water, stay out of the lion's mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's a doggy dog world. Ain't no nigga finna swallow me. You know what I mean? So it's period like that. I'm out here, but I'm gonna make it one way or the other. That's what's up, Dominique. Oh. I like you, man. You know, I've been out here a couple of times and I hollered at you before we yeah. even did this interview. So we're going we gonna to stay locked in, man, and uh, hopefully your uh, situation will get better. Right. All right, man. Appreciate the interview. Hey, thanks for the shoes, too, man. Let's throw my shoes, my nigga. You feel me? It's all good. We ain't even got to put that on camera. Okay. <laughs> that, that's between us, man. We ain't got to Right, put right. That on I'm camera. just saying. It's gratitude to show. You know what I mean? Show a little gratitude. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. Right on. Thank you.